My name is Yin Bingo. I will be teaching general chemistry labs today. So I'm going to show you this room 103. We will also use room 118 and room 119. Goggles and lab coat are required. No food or drink allowed in the lab area. So you can put your drink here. So let's get inside the room. Uh, we have a total of uh, 12 uh, bench area, uh, but only eight students will work in each lab room. All right. So for example, in this area, uh, the student will have the analytical balance, a container for personal belongings, such as uh, backpacks. We have a computer um, over here. And uh, I want to show you where you change your face mask. If you got any chemical spill on your face mask, and then you'll have to change it. And this is where you change it. And make sure no one is around you when you change your mask. Now I'm gonna show you the sink over here. So we got the sink, paper towel, a liquid soap, uh, wash your hands frequently. Another sink, film hood. Uh, you can see some waste bottles, some containers over here, and goggles here. Another film hood. Uh, this is the whiteboard. Behind the whiteboard, you can find the iron stands. So those are hidden behind there. Uh, we used to hang our lab coats here, but um, now it may or may not be a good idea. We used to put personal belongings in here. Again, uh, we would like to avoid heavy traffic here. Uh, this is the eye wash. All right, we placed a uh, bucket down there. So in case you need to uh, do eye wash, uh, you need to open this two green lids and then you need to push this down to get water out. But supposedly you should be wearing goggles at all times in the lab room. So hopefully no one will have to use this. Uh, on top, there's a safety shower so if you got sulfuric acid uh, on your body, on your head, uh, you can use this uh, safety shower uh, just by pulling this uh, triangle down. All right. Unfortunately, I think there's a design flaw. So when you take the safety shower, I think the water is going to be everywhere on the floor. Uh, but again, if you got sulfuric acid on your head or on your body, um, I would take a shower, a really long shower. Uh, okay, again, sinks, film hoods. Uh, there are a total of six film hoods here. Uh, so because we have eight students, so at a certain point uh, Two students may have to share a film hood. So yet, yeah, you know negotiate with the other student to Keep a distance of six feet uh, Now we have uh, disposable gloves here Now in the end, I want to show you um, how to protect yourself uh, doing 
ex uh, chemistry experiments. So uh, I just turned the, uh, the camera around. So you probably can see I'm um, wearing goggles, uh, lab coat, and of course, a face mask. If you choose to wear a neck gaiter, understand that this is only one layer. This is better than nothing, but it's not as good as a two layer or three layer face mask. So if you have to use it, fold it to make two layers or three layers. This is very important.